G'day and welcome to this week's episode of Going 4 Wheel Drive. This weekend has been a great one with the old Maniacs. Heading over to Wanangatta and doing some fantastic tracks around there, and over to Mount Blue Rag for some more fantastic tracks and ripper views. But today we're going to head over to Billy Goat Bluff, again for some scenic views and also some great four wheel driving as well in the Victorian high country. From there we're going to head back down to the Dargo High Plains Road and head round to Eagle Vale Campground. We'll have lunch there and also probably go for a swim, after which we'll head up Eagle Vale Track back towards Talbotville. We'll be going back to Melbourne uh, tomorrow, so we've got to pack up camp and uh, have everything all ready for that. But for now though, let's jump in the cars and let's head up Wandingatta Road and head for Billy Goat Bluff Track. Coming along Crooked River Road, heading for Kingswell Bridge. And we're going to cross the river. After the bridge had been washed away in the floods, the only way to get across the river was by fording it. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. The map we're using today is the Dargo Wanangatta Adventure Map by Rooftop. Crossing's a little bit rough. Yeah, the Kingswell Bridge was washed away during the floods and uh, now it's been replaced with this one. However, the Ford is still much more fun. Coming down Wanangatta Road, heading for Billy Goat Bluff. Hopefully we'll get some great views up there like we did from uh, Blue Rag. Turning off the main road onto Billy Goat Bluff track and getting ready to start our big climb up to the bluff. I've just gone back into low range and put into second gear. Because this track gets pretty steep in places. Billygate Bluff track is broken up into two sections. You've got the section from the main road to the helipad, which we're on now, and then from the helipad to the bluff itself. It is a fantastic track. Approaching the helipad, we're confronted with a steep section of track, the steepest we've had so far. All we can see is sky, and then all of a sudden you're on top of the helipad. And some glorious views too. About halfway up on top of the helipad, you get a great view of the mountain range around you, along with the cliff faces and all the craggy rock sticking out from the edge. The view from up here is spectacular, and you can even see the track going up to Billy Goat Bluff, and there's the bluff just up there at the top. Ah, we're only halfway there. 
but yet it gets steeper and longer as well. From the helipad we're going to start making our way down the hill and across the spur. Great stuff. The track coming down from the helipad to the spur is really a quite a steep one, so we're coming down in first low. Coming down onto the spur now and uh, quite a nice drive up. Some sections of the spur you can actually get into high range and get into third or fourth gear at times too. Coming up the spur track here and uh, uphill, on the right we've got some rock faces, some cliffs. Awesome looking. Should be able to get a good view of that from the top. Here, so keep it in second low. Couple of ledges here, oh, little ones. Go to the right, just follow the line of everybody else. And it's in when the tyres do the work. Fantastic climb this is. The Yokohamas won't be long. Grab a seat and a coffee. At tyres and more, tyres aren't enough. We have to do more. Oh, thanks, mate. More and more. Double Black Off Road has a great range of poly performance products along with the innovative Double Black Off Road unbreakable flares. Give Double Black Off Road a call today on 0395027790 or log onto the website. Avenger 4x4 has canopies, nudge bars, side steps and a host of stainless steel products including the Mako line of winches. Phone Avenger 4x4 accessories 0397761066. We're in the last section of track, approaching the bluff, where we'll stop and hopefully get some good views. 
Ah, oh, look at that, we're above the cloud level. Billy Goat Bluff is about 1200 meters above sea level. And it's got a nice, long, steep climb, about seven kilometers in length. And the views you get from the bluff here are absolutely superb. a nice viewing area we caught up to uh, members of the Pajero Club. Oh, hello, what have we got here? This is interesting. After leaving the bluff and the Pajero Club behind us, we're heading up the track a little bit and we come across this rocky section with some large ledges in it. We continue along Billy Goat Bluff track to the intersection of Kent Road where we do a U-turn and then head back down Billy Goat Bluff track so we can head over to Eagle Vale Campground. I've had no trouble getting up these rock ledges so in actual fact I won't have any trouble coming down them either. I'll just take my time in first load. I just came straight down those ledges. But what have we got here? We've got a convoy that's already stopped. Oh no, that's going to hold things up for us. Well, we had to wait for a little bit, not long, uh, as a vehicle was coming up and uh, we're going down, so he had to pull off. another convoy in front of us and uh, yeah so it could be a bit of a slow progress going down although well, it might be slow as coming up of course the views you get from the track here they are really fantastic well, looks like we're coming to another stop Some sharp rock here, but not much. Well, really not much that gets you. Progress coming down Billy Goat Bluff is, well, it's slower than what it was coming up. The convoy in front just keeps on stop starting, stop starting all the time. There's no reason to be stopping, just keep the flow going. Instead of coming down in second low, because of the convoy going so slowly, I've got to use first low. Oh, those hills look absolutely beautiful, stunning, sensational. It's taking us twice as long to get down here as what it has to take us up. Uh, there has been a couple of cars on the track coming up, so they've had to pull over for us. Uh, Ian has, and uh, they're our neighbours, um, uh, the German couple who we met last night. Alright, yep. Yeah, that's, that's who it is. The 
helipad is in sight, we're finally getting to the top of it. But hang on, there's parked cars up here. Don't tell me the convoy's parking all over the helipad. Right, they all kind of stopped at the top and oh. Yep, looks like they're parking all over the place up here. Not keeping to the sides of the helipad, but parking over the sides in the middle or wherever they can find a spot. Ah, hang on, there's a car coming. Ah, I see. Still another four vehicles coming up. Here you go, Clarky. Come along, everybody. Yeah, you clear to go. The Yokohamas won't be long. Grab a seat and a coffee. At Tyres and More, tyres aren't enough. We have to do more. Oh, thanks, mate. Double Black Off-Road has a great range of poly-performance products along with the innovative Double Black Off-Road unbreakable flares. Give Double Black Off-Road a call today on 039502-7790 or log on to the website. Avenger 4x4 has canopies, nudge bars, side steps and a host of stainless steel products including the Mako line of winches. Phone Avenger 4x4 accessories 039776-1066. Now the convoy has finally got out of our way for us, we can get into second low and come down the rest of the hill to the intersection of one and Gatter Road, then head for Eagle Vale Campground. Looks like the main road just here. Yep. Back to the bottom. Bottom of Billy Bluff, Billy Dunk Bluff. Yeah, Billy Dunk Bluff. Then to the main road. We travel along one and get a road for at least five, six k's before we come to the turn off for Eagle Vale Campground. We're at Eagle Vale at the moment and uh, campground down here and but not too bad. Oh look, we have a water crossing. There's Simon. <laughs> Before we go and meet up with the rest of the convoy, I thought we'd go down here and have a bit of a drive. Check out the place a little bit. This area here is quite nice. Nice lawn, grass and lovely picnic spot there and campsite. It's very nice through here, there's even a suspension bridge further up too. We've had a little bit of a look around. I'm very impressed with the area. Might have to do a bit of camping up here myself. Anyway, we're going back down to uh, the Pit Dunny. We'll meet up with everybody else and see what's going on.
Uh, there's the rest of the convoy over there just underneath the tree line. And there's even other campers over there as well. Quite a nice little area here too. Howdy ho! <laughs> yep. Now why is there a snatch trap on Alan's patch? Hmm, mm, interesting. Trail, we'll have to find out. High range first. Now from what I've been told, the patch has got a problem with the starter motor. And they're going to try and roll start it. An auto. Time to cut. Alright Alan, speak up. What's going on? What, what, what's the go? My starter motor has died in. And because you can't get it started any other way, with the auto you get up to a certain speed. And when the torque converter locks in, the vehicle should start. And it'll be a big bang when it starts. And there they go, in a cloud of dust. Only to return in a cloud of dust. Yet, the patch would not start. Well, that's plan A down the pit, Dunny. Now for plan B. Plan B. That's now in the pit, Dunny, as well, along with plan A. That idea was to pull the starter motor out, which Phil did, strip it, clean it, and put it all back together again. Unfortunately, somehow or other, it polarised the wrong way. So now, plan C. Plan C is Clarkie going up Eagle Vale track to the highest point he can possibly get phone reception on and call the RACV. They'll come out, pick up the badge and take it back to the workshop. So after 7 o'clock at night, uh, what is it, it's 7.22. The sun is starting to go down a bit. Hello Alan, I can see you. <laughs> Eagle Vale track is a pearler. It's nice and steep. Great to come up. That'd be good to come down too. But it's a ripper little track, this one. I can see some dust. How bad was the track, Marky? It's like a walk in the park. Uh, that's maybe me. Yeah, we're just the Roger. Well, Plan C is down the pit dunny as well. RACV won't come out for a couple of days to pick the patch up. Well, a phone call to another couple of mates who have already left. Uh, Jason's going to come back with a trailer. And Simon, he's just done a water pump as well. So, yeah, not looking good. Great finish to the end of the weekend. That's four-wheel driving for you. We've come to the end of this week's episode. It's been a great time with the old maniacs up here at Talbotville. We've had a great time. Been over to Wanangatta, great over there, and the tracks are absolutely fantastic up here in the high country. No good for really for uh, all-wheel drives, I reckon, but uh, low range, definitely. Uh, it's just great. The scenery is superb. The tracks are fantastic. What more could you want? Victoria is blessed. We've got to keep our tracks open more and more. For now, though, until we see you next week, you have a great week, and we'll catch you on the tracks. Work is done, time to play Pack the kids, going away up the mountain Road we climb to the snow To desert sometime in the rain In the sun, it doesn't matter We're gonna have some fun going Four-wheel drive Going four-wheel drive